before my injury, being on the jet ski was one of my favorite things to do. I just had the idea one day, I was like, we have the jet ski outside, we, we're on the lake, I have my friends here, I was like, you know, let's try it. Life before my injury was a lot of outdoor activities, snow skiing, jet skiing. In high school, I played baseball. I'd say just very active and you know outgoing. It was a Wednesday and we just got done with baseball practice and me and all the guys from baseball were sitting in the locker room after and just doing stupid stuff that teenage boys do. I was just goofing around with one of my buddies and I picked him up from around the waist and I lost my footing and fell over to the side and that's when I, I hit the side of my neck on the ground and that's when I broke my uh, C5 vertebrae. You're probably never going to walk again. You're probably going to be stuck in a wheelchair for the rest of your life. It hit very hard thinking about my future of like, hey, I might not be able to walk down the aisle with my wife or wow, I might not be able to throw the baseball with my son. It really hurt, but from now I've just been able to really recover and see that, you know, I'm still gonna be able to do these things. It might just look a different way. My support system, no doubt, is what got me through it. I've done the jet skiing, tubing behind a boat. I've done some basketball, adaptive hand cycling. It's hard knowing that I'm not gonna wake up the next day and be able to walk and get out of bed and do all the things I used to be able to do so easily. And it's hard, but I just want people to know that you can do it if you set your mind to it. It's gonna be hard, but as long as you believe in yourself, that's all that matters and you'll accomplish it, there's no doubt.